To be quite honest with you, my gorgeous Scorpio, this year is going to be the year you will never ever forget. This year is bringing you probably the biggest turning point of your life, which is going to happen right at the beginning of January 2024. This turning point, it's going to be absolutely incredible because at that moment in time, you are going to realize there are very, very important directions that you need to follow. These new directions that you need to follow follow are basically happening at the best time that could possibly happen. It's happening at the beginning of year, uh, this year, January, it's going to provide you with the number one, the power of number one. When it comes to inspiration, when it comes to our power rising, when it comes to us going with the flow, when it comes to us being spontaneous, when it comes to us knowing what is the right thing to do, but also most importantly, the power of number one it's going to allow you to come out of your shell, to come out of your comfort zone. And, and, and you're going to do the move, the specific move and step you would never made otherwise. You know, otherwise you would just kind of go into this mode of over-analyzation, which is ever so bad. So this is something which is going to bring this essence into your life, which is going to release you and set you free. The moment of probably the most powerful liberation of your entire life. Life. My gorgeous Scorpioni, Happy New Year 2024. I wish you all the best, okay? Because this year it's going to be remarkable. This is going to be a yearly reading. And I'm going to focus on each month just a little bit. Of course, I'm going to be focusing on those main things that are going to make the whole month better. But most importantly, I'm going to focus on the main things that you should be focusing on in order to move on with your life. We'll be, I will be focusing on things which are going to be driving you forward. So now, my gorgeous Scorpioni, I'm going to start with the month of January. Now, January you are going to find yourself like already, you know, from the beginning of January, you're going to feel extremely re-energized, almost as if you thought that January is going to be oh, in one specific way. Maybe you thought that a lot is not going to be happening when it comes to January, but like, oh my God, you are in for an absolutely huge surprise because from the very first, second and the third of January, you're already going to find yourself feel, having so much more energy. You're going to find yourself thinking about like your future in a very optimistic way. There is a lot going to be on your mind. And most importantly, you're going to realize how much you're starting to reconnect already with your own spirituality. Uh, this in itself, it's going to make you aware of the specific things that are missing in your life that are preventing you to uh, kind of... Uh, um, you know, to express yourselves, you know, in, in the way that you want to express, you will really clearly realize what's like kind of causing a blockage. But most importantly, you're also going to realize, you know, on the spiritual terms, how much you're missing certain things. And also you're going to be in this mode to kind of start exploring new things in terms of your own spirituality. And this is brilliant because something is going to happen, you will do something, you will make a certain move, and you are going to start the process of reconnection, but more like connection really with the people that are going to bring so much beauty and so much optimism into your life purely because they think in the same way as you, especially when it comes to things that are so sacred to you. So my advice is just literally my gorgeous Scorpioni, go for it. And also when it comes to the, <clears throat> sorry, when it comes to the month of January, you're going to find yourself being a very, very kind of like a creative right at the beginning, very creative, you're going to be like uh, doing something that you really enjoy. You know, I mentioned this before. And the reason why this happens, it's because when we are creative about something, we are passionate about something. When we are passionate about something, we are optimistic and we are positive. And that in return creates this very powerful vibration, which on another note, uh, brings a lot of insights into our lives. So for example, if you are like kind of like, 
love painting, photo, uh, pa painting pictures, for example, then you're gonna like kind of be painting something. If you like kind of enjoy uh, cleaning home, cleaning your home, lots of people enjoy this, you will be cleaning your home. Maybe you love making jewelry or something, you're gonna be making jewelry, you know. Maybe you like uh, kind of playing with your crystals or something, you will be playing with your crystals, you know what I mean? But however, you are gonna be working on something that you are gonna be really, really creative about and you're gonna be really enjoying yourself. And why am I saying this to you? Because at that moment in time, you are going to get this very, very intuitive and very psychic message that you're gonna become so, so ambitious about. This is going to affect your drive and focus and you're suddenly gonna become kind of on one hand ready for something new, but then on another hand, you're gonna be thinking about something really specific here and you're gonna become very, very confident about your success. This is your sign that things are about, things are in control. And this in itself is going to highlight a really willful direction that it's going to need a bit of a self-discipline, but the bottom line is you're ready for something new and, and it's time to engage with something new. And, and even more so, my gorgeous Scorpioni, you are going to have a such a beautiful sign and such a beautiful omen and the sign and omen that you are going to have at around that time it's somehow going to confirm to you absolutely you know because as soon as uh, you have this sign and omen, it's gonna be so, so, so specific. It's gonna be out of this world. And as soon as you have this sign and omen, you're gonna have this particular person on your mind. Oh, I can't wait to say this to this person. You, I can't wait to say, mention this, what just happened to me. Somebody who you love, somebody who loves you and somebody who clearly understands you. Well, let me tell you, that particular person who is the first person on your mind when it comes to it, you need to let them know and you are going to and they are gonna make you aware of uh, some kind of something to pay attention to that you wouldn't normally pay attention to you know and if you didn't pay attention to what this person is gonna uh, make you aware of you know things wouldn't turn right for you because you wouldn't be paying attention to something really really specific that could kind of prevent you later on or slow you down completely unnecessarily yet again the power of your intuition it's going to take over my gorgeous score be honest. So this is why not only you're going to remember somebody who's very dear to you almost immediately to let them know of the sign that you're going to have, but there is the key, the spiritual key that they're going to provide you that you need so desperately at this stage of your life to unlock the door, which are going to change absolutely every single aspect of your life. Absolutely brilliant, my gorgeous Scorpioni, indeed. And also the next months that I'm going to be talking about, it's going to be the the month of February. My gorgeous Scorpioni, like, oh my goodness, I love this so much. This year is going to be one mind-blowing mama, and I can tell you this, because the month of February is bringing you a fantastic news and fantastic message when it comes to your achievement, when it comes to your success, when it comes to your recognition. You are going to feel so proud of yourself because this is to do with something that you've been working on for absolute ages, you know? It's to do with a specific aspect of your life where you gave so much of your precious energy. The month of February is bringing you success, my gorgeous Scorpioni. A very, very good news indeed. <clears throat> This is going to make you feel so good, but it's also going to confirm a really specific direction when it comes to you, okay? This is going to confirm a really specific direction, you know, for you as well, that you must not ignore. But on another note, this success is going to make you feel complete. This success is going to make you feel whole. This success is going to make you feel so good about yourself. This, this achievement is actually going to surprise you because because as I said, it's to do with something that you've been working on, but this is going to go on a completely different level and you will see why. Something is going to be much bigger and much better than what you could have possibly imagined when it comes to the outcome of this success. And you are going to find yourself thinking like, what to do next now? What to do next? That's absolutely fine. That's perfect. That's so important. Your passion is about to be ignited and this is, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to follow. 
well. But then again, you are gonna run into some kind of a challenge here. When you are thinking about what's next, you are going to run into some kind of a challenge. And when it comes to you running into some kind of a challenge, you just have to be honest with yourself on one hand, and you're gonna have to defend and protect your position. You need to stand your ground. By standing your ground, you're also going to be able to identify, uh, you know, uh, how important this is to you, but you're also going to be able to identify uh, what to do, what to do exactly when it comes to that particular challenge that you're going to kind of face. Because the only kind of like a, a good outcome to have with this challenge is not only to be honest with yourself, but also when it comes to you standing your ground and trying to explain something to someone who clearly cannot understand you, but you cannot really allow this to uh, take the better of you and affect something that you are focusing on. It's important to also understand when it comes to the challenge that you're going to be facing, it's just about being honest with yourself and being honest with somebody else who's maybe going to try to put you off from what you're trying to do. But also, when it comes to the challenge that you're going to be facing, you know what? You need to stick to something traditional. Keep it traditional. There you go. That's the challenge. That's the answer to your challenge. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Just keep it traditional, my gorgeous Scorpioni, and you are going to be absolutely fine because this in itself is going to bring new directions into your life. Directions you never knew that even existed whatsoever. So this is why this is so going to be so important. It's going to help it to clear and activate. And at the same same time, it's going to help you to move on with your life. You will see the timing is critical, but not in a bad way, in a good way, indeed. The next month is going to be the month of March, my Scorpioni, my gorgeous Scorpioni. There is this gorgeous woman. I really like this woman. This lady is very practical. This lady is very down to earth. This lady is very resourceful. This lady is very motherly. This lady is very humble centered and this lady really really loves nature this lady because of this person you know it's somebody with a beautiful energy and this person is gonna really inspire you to uh, this person is gonna tell you something or you're gonna realize something through this person how much you want to kind of you're gonna become very curious about learning something and now you need to understand that the moment in time you become very curious about about learning something and it's to do with this powerful lady at that moment in time you know this is you are going to like a really need to observe what's limiting you it's, it's to do with you observing your limitations and that's exactly what you're gonna do because by you observing your limitation you're also going to become more resilient by becoming more resilient you know you're, you are going to uh, like a benefit from this open intuition which is like kind of uh, uh, leads towards you uh, uh, seeking some kind of clarification and the clarification that you're going to be seeking here is pretty much so going to like put you on the right path and something is going to be confirmed to you here and what is going to be confirmed to you here it's like kind of gonna bring more of the elements of like what you want to, what you became curious about and what you wanted to learn in the new place. You know, it's all gonna lead towards you seeking clarification and gaining and getting so much more like kind of out of it in terms of information. You will know that, you know, what you became so curious about that you want to learn, uh, this in itself, it's also going, gonna play an absolutely important role when it comes to you, like kind of realizing so much more about yourself, realizing so much more about your life, but also it's going to kind of like by the end of that month, you will know why you felt so drawn towards this. Because by the end of this month, you are going to realize, you know, that there are specific things that are missing in your life. And until you bring these things into your life, your life, it's not going to be the way you want it to be. So this is why this 
this is an important part of your spiritual journey that you must not ignore and avoid whatsoever. So when something inspires you to learn something, more certainly go for it. Not only this is going to lead towards your own resilience, but it's also going to lead towards such a powerful reconnection with yourself by the end of the month where you're going to realize specific things missing in your life and otherwise you would never realize this. So this is so important when it comes to your spiritual growth and the brand new direction in life as well. By the time you get to April, my gorgeous Scorpioni, this is absolutely brilliant. Now, the month of April is bringing you the brand new project, this brand new venture, this brand new project and brand new venture that you are going to find yourself at is going to make your dream real. My goodness, you are going to find yourself working on a, some kind of a brand new project and a brand new venture. You have no idea how important this is because this in itself is going to make your dream real. And even more so, uh, later on, you know, after that moment in time, you are going to have a very important message when it comes to your finances. This message is going to be good. This message is going to be positive. But this message is, again, going to kind of going to put you in even in an even better mood when it comes to you starting a new project and venture. And then after that, you get the positive information about your finances. And then you will know that this is the part of a little sign that you are going to have that this you know most certainly it's something that you should kind of consider like immediately and when it comes to that new project and venture not only this is going to make your dream come true my gorgeous Scorpione listen to me very carefully this is going to make your dream come true not only that but you're also going to this is going to play an important role when it comes to you reconnecting with people in general but also when it comes to a new project and venture, you know you will have a support from the right people in your life and this is going to mean to you so much. You will have the right support from the people in your life. They're going to be pleased, they're going to be excited, what are you doing and what you're trying to do and this is going to mean to you a lot because it's to do with people who know you better than you know yourself, if you know what I mean. The next month, one, two, three, four, five. The next month is going to be the month of May, my gorgeous Scorpioni. Now, in May, this is brilliant. You are going to get a clarity. Something is going to illuminate the shadow. Someone is going to illuminate the shadow you're going to find yourself dealing with, okay? So, you know, someone is going to give you a really, really wise advice. This wise advice that you are going to gain it's have it's going to open your eyes and it's going to give you a give you clarity because you will realize that you are refusing to let something go and what you are refusing to let go of my gorgeous Scorpioni it's making you to have this fear of change okay it's making you to have this fear of change. So this wise advice that you are going to get, it's going to open your eyes, but most importantly, you will realize that you are refusing to let go of something. And that in itself, it's making you to like have a fear of change. So this is something that you need to deal with immediately, my gorgeous Scorpioni, indeed. But also, when it comes to that particular month, one, two, three, four, five, when it comes comes to May, I really like how you're going to start doing things and, and like like on a, like a health level. For example, you're going to start something new. Maybe you're going to start like using certain herbs. Absolutely brilliant. Maybe you're going to start like exercising if you weren't exercising before. Maybe you're going to go like a full on healthy mode. Like kind of you're going to be thinking a lot about what you put into your um, body. You know, you're going to think about a lot 
lot about the exercise. You're going to be thinking a lot about the healthy side of things. But it's not only about you thinking about it, you're starting it. You're about to turn the whole new page when it comes to you being healthy and when it comes to you focusing on your health. Whether these are going to be like a things that you're going to start using, like a natural things like a herbs, vitamins and things like that, which is absolutely brilliant. Or it's going to be a combination of that and maybe you kind of like exercising. However, uh, this is really going to be so important when it comes to your soul and when it comes to your spirit and when it comes to that particular balance, you know, the beginning of the whole new page I can see here. And this in itself is bringing this really beautiful new fresh energy into your life as well. My advice is just absolutely go for it. Indeed, a work-life balance, but it's mind, spirit and soul, you know, uh, body, spirit and soul, you know, type of thing. So it's a very, very important when it comes to an internal balance. Indeed. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next month, I'm sorry about counting, but I don't want to make a mistake. The next month is going to be the month of June. Now, do you know what? You are uh, going to take a very, very bold uh, step here. It's about taking a bold step, taking bold action that you're going to feel so excited about. You are going to feel this high energy and you are going to feel very confident. You're going to feel very brave and passionate. The mom is, So you are, from the beginning of the, this month, you are going to make a very, very a kind of uh, um, a, a bold uh, step and, and and it's to do with like part of your life where progress is very slow and it has been on a standstill for for a while and this kind of um, it's it's not very inspiring it's very uninspiring do you see what I mean so this is what is going to trigger it you know it's to do with like pretty much so uh, part of your life and it's to do with the, where the progress is very very slow and it has been on a standstill in a really long time and this is something that it's really kind of not very inspiring you know it's completely opposite it's uninspired you know when it comes to the way you feel about it so now from the beginning of June you are going to take a really bold, bold action because there is a specific information that you're going to find out that it's going to make you feel a really really exciting and it's going to bring a high energy into your life and it's going to make you feel a really really confident so it's to do with a specific message and information that you're going to have which is going to bring make you really confident in order to make that step in to make that move this is so important for you to do because at the same time you know it is going to not only you know uh, make you aware of like a, which plan to stick to it's going to make you aware of the part of your life where it is ahead of you it's moving it's changing it's like a steady progress after this moment in time instead of just being on standstill but most importantly it's going to reveal also uh, which plan do you need to stick to. This is very important part of you understanding which plan you need to stick to. And that is at the end of all that are going to lead towards a remarkable, a remarkable, a remarkable adventure. The beginning of adventure you will never forget. This adventure is going to change your life. So this is why you need to understand the importance of this, my gorgeous Scorpioni, indeed. The next month, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. The next month that I'm going to be talking about, it's going to be uh, July. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, the next month, my gorgeous Scorpio, 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 only. <laughs> it's going to be the month of July. So in July, you know, this is fantastic. Because in July, you know, now you are basically going to, now you are, uh, you are going to you know what? One, two, three, four. So in April, this is this is mind blowing. This is mind blowing. In April, you will start new project and venture, which is going to make your dream real. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. So in July, you are really gonna kind of realize 
you are gonna realize so this is to do with like, like a, a certain new project venture which is going to make your dreams uh, real in in july you are gonna become a very very confident about transforming a specific idea into reality my god you got two mind-blowing points here this is crazy in july you are going to become very confident about your power but most in because you will know that you've got all the resources you need you will know that you've got all the resources you need in order to transform a certain idea into reality so therefore you are going to become very very confident about your power but there is always bad it's something that you are gonna find so difficult to keep quiet but you're gonna have to keep quiet about it this is something that you must keep to yourself and I know it sounds crazy it sounds mental because at around the same time there is gonna be some little bastard around you who's gonna try to steal some kind of information from you and you don't want that no baby no and no matter how crazy this means to you, this sounds to you, that what I'm saying to you, this is important. It's important for you to keep quiet about this particular thing. You have to work in silence when it comes to this. You have to work in silence. The tree grows in silence. You have to work in silence because someone is going to try to steal some kind of idea from you. And no matter how crazy this may sound to you, I really hope that you're going to listen to my advice. Advice. So it's fantastic that you're going to become so confident, absolutely brilliant, about you transforming your idea, you know, uh, 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 into reality. You're going to become very confident because you will know that you've got all the resources you need. But you are going to find it very, very difficult to keep quiet. But you have to, because otherwise someone is going to steal some kind of information and it's no baby, no. It's going to be absolutely irreversible. So my advice is, you know, to keep quiet. And at the same time, by keeping quiet, at the same time, by keeping quiet about this, keeping it to your yourself at the same time you are going to uh, detach yourself from something that has been obstructing you and restricting you and delaying you I know it sounds crazy but this is my advice my gorgeous Scorpioni it is ever so important okay one two three four five six seven eight by the time you get to August my gorgeous Scorpioni you know in August you are you need to understand from the beginning of August there are gonna be two paths ahead <clears throat> From the beginning of August, there are going to be two paths ahead. What you need to remember is that you follow the path that you know it's to do with the birth of a, some kind of creation and you follow the path that you know it's going to bring you a potential growth. That's what you need to do. So at the beginning of August, there are going to be two paths ahead but you follow the path you need to follow the path you must follow the path which is uh, going to be connected to the birth of creation you follow the path which is bringing a potential growth but you must not you know overanalyze because if you overanalyze then you are going to be resisting specific change here which is ever so important when it comes to you realizing which steps are you going to need to make or which direction you are going to need to follow so when it comes to August two paths ahead you follow the obvious path which is going to be connected to the birth of some kind of creation and it's going to bring a potential growth into your life but you must not you must not overanalyze because if you overanalyze then this is going to make you uh, resist a change you shouldn't be resisting in the first place so this is what you need to remember my gorgeous Scorpioni indeed and also when it comes to August it's like my goodness you know it is going to be the month where you're going to realize that, you know, some kind of, oh God, you're going to realize that you're going to need to work on a, some kind of addiction. 
And as soon as you realize which addiction do you need to work on, at that moment in time, you need to know that the reason why you're realizing this, the reason why you're aware of this, is because of two things. The time is right for you to do something about it. And the second thing is, you'll do this in no time. And it's going to be much easier, much quicker, much, you know, than what you could have possibly imagined. So this is something you need to remember, my gorgeous Scorpioni, indeed, okay? And also, when it comes to August, there is going to be a blast from the past. Somebody is about to return into, into your life. And I don't mean... Mr. Lover Lover. Now, I don't mean Mr. Lover Lover, you know, but in August, somebody is return into, somebody is about to return into your life. A blast from the past. This person is really genuinely going to surprise you. Genuinely going to surprise you. But then again, that person is going to remind you of something. That person is going to remind you of something really, really specific. And, and what that person is going to remind you of, you're not going to be able to stop thinking about about whatsoever but at the same time what that person is going to remind you of my gorgeous Scorpioni it's also going to like really gonna make you aware of what do you on one hand need, need you what do you need to kind of educate yourself with but then on another hand this is also going to be a part of your divine will when it comes to you knowing which fear do you need to let go of in order to you know uh, understand which in improvements require persistence in your life. So literally one thing is going to be leading into another. The next month, 9, 10, 11, 12, the next month is going to be September. Now, yes, you are going to feel a little bit, just a little bit weird, a little bit weak, a little bit blocked. You're going to feel a little bit uninspired, you know, and then you are going to, because you're going to be thinking about something really specific here and you need to really cut when it comes to like you feeling uninspired and you feeling a little bit blocked you know you need to be m more objective you know you need to release negative or frightening thoughts because these negative and frightening thoughts are kind of making you feel really really unhappy so you know there are specific things that you know what in September, this is what I would say here, protect your energy, protect your energy, because it's done from the devil and demon from the outside, nothing to do with your life, nothing to do with your world, it's to, nothing to do with your spiritual bubble, but it's to do with things that are maybe going on on the outside, you will be keeping here like a negative sadness, darkness, negative sadness, darkness, so you need to protect your energy, you need to cut off yourself from this dark, things that are completely unnecessary for every single one of us if you are keep on thinking negative things like all the time even subconsciously you know it's just gonna kind of like a negativity it's gonna be all that you see and all that you know because a lot is gonna be stuck at the back of your mind you know we have been controlled like through negative ways for such a long time so you don't need to necessarily watch TV or listen to the radio or whatever like consciously you can just like subconsciously hear things and it's there at the back of your mind you can read an article on the left of an article there are little pictures and little signs that are controlling your mind and on the right hand side of the article is little pictures and little signs that are controlling your mind without you even realizing without you even knowing what you're reading so we've been controlled like kind of by the devil like 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 a pretty much so quite a lot when it comes to the last few years so you're gonna need to identify this you know the reason why you feel blocked and uninspired and negative you know you need to kind of be objective and release this negative and frightening thoughts because this in itself it's coming from somewhere else from the outside so this is the time when you need to work out and think how you're going to protect your energy as well and 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 avoid things that are keep on bringing you down and pay attention to things that are helping your spirit grow uh, rather than something that is making you feel persistently negative so you are going to identify where these frightening thoughts are coming from and you are going to be able to actually do something about it which is absolutely brilliant because it's keep on making you unhappy and it's affecting your quality of life so this is why my gorgeous Scorpioni this is ever so important and also 
9, 10, 11, 12. That's September, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, and also, I like this. I like another thing in September. You are going to get a very good news when it comes to your finances and financial situation. It's to do with you uh, uh, having a really nice financial stability here, but it's also important to think about how you can protect your assets, okay? You will be thinking about protecting your assets, some kind of assets of yours, and I think that that's absolutely brilliant idea as well. And when it comes to you protecting your assets, I know that this is going to sound crazy, you're going to have a very interesting idea how you can create something new by mixing and blending together, you know, uh, uh, things that you have been through and things that you've learned and, and, and you know, what adjustment do you need to make when it comes to like, you know, for example, you're protecting your assets, you know, I know it sounds weird, but you are going to be thinking like how you can make a certain adjustments in, in order to make all this so more interesting for you. And you're going to realize a lot of things that you have been through uh, for the last few years. And, and you're going to be thinking about creating something new with it as well. But it's a lot about mixing and blending, you know, things in order to create something new. It's absolutely perfect balance here, my gorgeous Scorpioni, indeed. The next month that I'm going to be talking about, it's going to be the month of October. Now, in October, you are really going to have a very, very unusual, like a spiritual experience. Uh, something is going to happen, like really unusual, uh, really bizarre. And, 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 and it's almost like kind of going to scare you a little bit. You know, it's going to happen over the night. You're going to be at home by yourself in a dark, maybe. Uh, you know, but something it's going to happen and it's really kind of going to make you feel a little bit scared and and, and it's really going to kind of, oh my God, like almost like someone from the other side is about to visit you, but it's not about that as such. It's more about the message that they're going to bring to you. So in October, I'm sorry to say this, but something is going to scare you in the middle of the night, like in the middle of the night, something is maybe going to fall off or something is going to fall on the ground, something is going to move something is really going to scare you in the middle of the night. Maybe you're just going to be lying down and you're going to feel like something just touched your back. And it's like, oh my God, I really feel like something just touched my back. Do you know what I mean? But you will feel some kind of a presence that is really going to scare you a little bit to start with. And the more you're scared, the better it's going to be. Why? Because this is going to be the moment where you really need to understand how important it is to read, how important it is to understand this reading. The moment in time you feel so scared by something, this is also the moment in time that you need to pay attention to what were you uh, thinking about at that moment in time. And the more scared you are, the more powerful sign this is, the more powerful uh, 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 confirmation this is, the, most the more powerful indication this is, that you're ignoring something, something that it's so uh, important when it comes to your life. You're ignoring something, you're standing in your own way when it comes to something, when it comes to some kind of problem, some kind of issue, and you're the only one who can deal with that problem and deal with that issue. And you can then deal, de dealt with that like absolutely ages ago, but it's again to do with something that you're so paranoid and a little bit scared about. So that's why I'm saying the more scared you are when you become aware of the sign, the sound, that sign, that noise, you know, the more powerful indication this is, the more powerful confirmation this is, that you need to kind of do something about this particular problem that you're only thinking about. And if you don't do something about that particular problem that is on your mind, at the time when that happens, it's going to grow into something irreversible. Okay? And like this, you've got plenty of time to do something about it. Okay? So this is your indication. It's about the timing, timing, timing. The timing is absolutely right to, to do something about this problem, which is going to be on your mind because it is going to be very, very successful for you. So this is the spirit message you are going to have because you're limiting yourself because of this, you know? So it's fantastic. And also, 
also my gorgeous copy only when it comes to october when it comes to the month of october now you know yes you are going to have a, a little bit of problem uh, when it comes to some kind of uh, new endeavor for example you are going to have a little problem when it comes to some kind of a new endeavor here and that in itself you know the reason mm, endeavor or like a new venture that you're gonna find some kind of new endeavor new venture that you're gonna find yourself at you are going to have a bit of a problems here and that in itself it's only because you are you have kind of refused to consider another point of view you have refused to consider another point of view and then after that moment in time something hidden it's about to emerge where you are really going to realize some kind of a skill that you have uh, uh, that you have the right skill and the correct skill to deal with this problem with that venture endeavor that I've actually mentioned so this is how things are gonna work so now this it's not only these skills that you're gonna realize that you can deal with this problem that you have you will know that you can deal with that successfully but this is also going to be so important when it comes to you like kind of fully embracing your emotions my gorgeous Scorpione fully embracing your emotions because this in itself is going to uh, deeply move you uh, something is going to happen and you're going to feel deeply moved but in a good way in a very positive way indeed so there and there you're going to make a really important decision when it comes to you realizing also how much you know how you want to have more fun how you want to reconnect with people more you're going to make an important decision here how you want to kind of go out there and kind of have fun which is absolutely brilliant whatever comes to you, you should go for it because it's just going to make your whole quality of life so much better indeed the next month that I'm going to be talking about, it's going to be the month of November. Absolutely brilliant, my gorgeous copy only when it comes to the month of November. Because you know what? It's like, um, it's a big victory. Not only that you're going to have a massive victory, beautiful achievement, you know, and clear progress. You know, it's not only victory, achievement, success, and clear progress. You know, I like it, you know, but it's more about how happy and positive and joyful you're actually going to feel because this in itself is also bringing an important clarity into your life therefore you're going to become fully aware of uh, which uh, steps do you need to take and there is also going to be a very interesting financial opportunity that you are going to have at around that particular time and this is also happening for a reason because it's meant to happen it's all going to happen highlight a very beautiful gift of yours my gorgeous Scorpione that most certainly at this stage of your life you need to take on the next level and that's exactly what you are doing right now it's to do with a beautiful gift of yours something that you are great at something that you are gifted at do you know what I mean something that you're like um, something that comes to you so natural and then at the same time you know I, I always say any Anything that we are so passionate about it's a sign it's our light to follow you know so this this is this is this is in November it's gonna be absolutely mind-blowing indeed so you are going to know exactly which steps do you need to take indeed and do not forget about that financial opportunity as well absolutely brilliant indeed and also, uh, the month of December, of course, is going to be the last month that I'm going to be talking about. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, stranger in the night, to do 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 scorpion in the morning, to do 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 stranger in the night, a gorgeous scorpion, stranger in the night, a little scorpion, my gorgeous scorpion, what? 
are you going to be up to in December? All I can say to you, somebody gorgeous, it's about to enter your life. Somebody gorgeous, it's about to enter your spiritual journey. If you are single and ready to mingle, all I can say to you, there is a beautiful person about to walk into your life and that person is going to change absolutely every single aspect of your journey. Remarkable. This is probably going to be the most amazing person you've ever met. You are going to meet this person completely randomly when you least expect it. And you know what? It's going to be somebody who you would think it's like a really good looking, but it's not, it wouldn't be somebody who you would normally go for without speaking to them first. And then you're going to see that person completely randomly. You're going to think, oh my God, he or she, you know, that gorgeous, whatever. And they're, they're, they're good looking, sorry. You're going to think like they're good looking, you know, but it's still, it wouldn't be somebody who you would necessarily go for. Does that make sense? But then you're going to start talking and then, oh my God, they're going to become like super delicious, my gorgeous Scorpione. And the more you talk to them, the more delicious they're going to become. <laughs> the more you talk to them, the more delicious they're going to be. And those are the best, you know. You don't want it to be the other way around. Then you see someone and they're gorgeous like ridiculously gorgeous to start with you talk to them oh god no do you know what i mean like complete opposite like oh it puts you off like life do you know what i mean let alone that person you know so uh, it you put you off uh, that person let alone you know so but anyway yeah so I don't know if I said it the right way around, but anyway, yeah. So, but, but the bottom line is that, you know, you are going to feel like two days after you know this person, you will feel like you know each other for your whole life. And, 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 and those are very special moments, you know, those are very special moments of connection that we have. So you will feel something you have never felt before with anybody else. And, you know, this particular person is going to make your whole life so much better. So if you are looking for love, if you are single, uh, somebody very beautiful, it's about to walk into your life. And then, you know, that person, it's somebody who's going to stay there, their life forever, literally, to be quite honest with you. And it's going to make one of the biggest impacts that anyone ever made. And later on, there is a, like a really important choice that you and that person are going to make as well but this is going to happen like a really later on so i'm talking about a really powerful individual somebody very spiritual and you're also like kind of gonna get off get on like so 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 beautifully indeed oh my god so somebody really gorgeous it's about to walk into your life you know for those of you who are single and ready to mingle and for those of you who are in relationship or you don't want uh, to to have a romance or you're not into it you know uh, for whichever reason absolutely fine you know what i mean uh, uh, it me if you're not looking for romance then this is also signifying the fact that you are going to meet some kind of a person a friend uh, and and on a spiritual level Level, this person is going to mean to you so much. This person is bringing a gorgeous, powerful, and very colorful energy into your life. This person is going to highlight a very, very sacred parts of you, and you're going to highlight sacred, sacred part of that person. Through that person, you're going to realize so much about yourself, so much about your life. The fun is about to begin. You will do things you've never done before. You will visit places you've never visited before. You're going to try things you've never tried you know you, you've never tried before you're going to start thinking about things you never thought about before in a good way so this person is going to play a huge role when it comes to your personal expansion but most importantly when it comes to your whole outlook on life it's going to change even the weirdest things you will be sharing with this person but there is something really specific from your past that you're going to be sharing and and this is going to mean to both of you like so 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 much indeed Okay, my gorgeous Scorpioni, like Happy New Year 2024. I wish you all the best, okay? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you, okay? I love you, every single one of you. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light to every single one of you. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium. Love you, bye.